Good morning. It's uh, July 8th, about 11 o'clock in the morning. And what you're seeing is my second David Bradley tractor that I'm starting to clean up. And what I usually do is I'll put the, um, the transaxle on this pallet and the old David Bradley tire and the David Bradley uh, rim, I just set it on top of it and then I push it outside for when I clean it up, I won't be getting dust all over my shop. I did it that way one time and it took me a week to get the shop cleaned back up. But these darn things are heavy. You know, I'm not a young puppy, I'm an old fella. And, uh, so I decided, you know, I'm going to get one of those um, cranes from uh, Harbor Freight to, to lift it up. And you can see, say, well, that don't look right. When the legs are down, and you have to have them down or it'll tip over when you're trying to jack them up, up these uh, transaxles. If it's on a pallet or the floor or something like that, the, uh, the legs get in the way. So I said, well, why not try one leg? Let's see what happens. And sure enough, uh, and the reason I want you to see this is uh, to see that, you know, you can just use one leg. This, these things weigh about 110 pounds. And I've been, lit, you know, picking them up, but uh, I don't like doing it. It ain't fun one bit. But uh, I just jacked this one up, and it did well. Now... In one of my other videos, when I started working on this, I talked about the possibility of redoing this clutch. Tightening it up, it's, it's not uh, as snug as uh, it should be. So, I looked at the, uh, the video again that Dan O'Connor did about uh, taking the clutch apart. And you know, he said you go to the back plate, put something in one of the two holes, then bring a pipe wrench and and loosen it. You know, spray it for about a week with PB blaster, and then uh, you can loosen it. Well, folks, what's the first rule when you're working with cast? Let me show you as a reminder. You never hobby horse on your uh, your wrench. You can see where it took a chunk out of that hole about the size of my thumbnail. So that, that ended that project. But I want to show you something. Hang on just a second. This is my dad's old farm on. And we've had it for decades. And I want you to see something. Look in there between the alternator and the, the carburetor. See that patch? Evidently, at some point, this block has cracked. And uh, somebody used JB Weld, it looked like, to make the patch. And folks, this, um, this patch has held. This thing runs like a brand new uh, formal when it's uh, cranked up. And I've had it for a few years. And let's see if I can angle this for you to look in there. And you can see right there. See that antifreeze? It's sitting over the holes. You're not looking at the holes. That's antifreeze between you and the holes for the radiator. So, and I've used this tractor several times. So, that's letting you know that that patch is working. So we're back in the, the shop part of my barn again. So I'm getting ready to put this one on this table where I can finish cleaning it up. You can see still a lot of grease and dirt. And, but now the transaxle, for the most part, is about 90% clean. Uh, you can solve this. You can see this is the one that I was using um, 
stuff to, to clean that. Hang on a second. Acetone the other day to clean that uh, manufacturing tag. And you can see it did a good job. And I used a brass brush to do 90% of that. So you can see that is a, a good way to clean when somebody paints over the manufacturing tag. But I'm getting ready to put this on the table and, and finish cleaning this up. And um, then I'll put the, the frame in here, clean it up, paint them both. This morning I went and picked up <coughs> excuse me, two new tires and rims. There's were the ones that had been on my first David Bradley. But these are better rims and brand new tires. I highly recommend if you order tires, go through Simple Tire. I got both of these tires for $163. And they're very, very nice tires. But um, this is going to end up being my show tractor whenever I get the, the 1953 David Bradley motor working good. And uh, this, this tractor, I'll probably use it around the yard. If, if it, uh, I want it to be clean and nice shape, who knows, I might build a wagon to, to tow all my David Bradley stuff at a show and use this one to pull it with. But uh, I'll give y'all a video as soon as I start getting this one put together. Hope you had a good weekend. Bye-bye.